Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Calamity, and in this video I want to beat the next boss in the boss progression log, which should be the giant clam. Yep, the giant clam. Spawn info can spawn naturally in the sunken sea. I'm not expecting to have many issues with the giant clam. Um, it seems fairly easy, especially with the gear that I have. I also have the Victide armor, which is pretty good and is even better in water which really helps against the giant clam because he is in water. Um, I also want to get the magic storage set up and maybe build some more um, NPC houses if we have the time. So yeah, let's get right into the episode. Okay, so before we beat the giant clam, I do want to open these three treasure bags I got from the desert storage. So let's open all of them. I'm hoping for the summon weapon that it drops. Um, let's see if any of this is the summon weapon. That's the mana weapon. Alright. Looks like you got two swords. And is this just coral? I think this is just coral. What's this? This is the summon weapon, I think. Um, my inventory is full. I'm just going to store that in the trash for now. Yes, it is the summon weapon. 15 summon damage. That's better than my current summon. Which is really good. Um, I'm going to have to despawn my minions to actually... Test this guy out. So let's see what he's like. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's let's actually attack a mob with these guys to see if their AI is good, which is it's probably not good just simply because it's the calamity mod. Calamity doesn't have too good boss AI. Not boss AI. The boss AI is great, uh, but summon AI isn't the best. Uh, okay. It doesn't do very much damage. But it seems to have pretty good AI. I think it might be able to go through blocks as well. It's actually, if I hold a summon weapon, it should do more damage. Okay, yeah, it does a lot more damage if I hold a summon weapon. Okay, yeah, these guys are pretty good. I think I might use them for the giant clan fight. Okay, so I now made it to the Sunken Sea. Um, I drank a Guild's Potion, I have Flickers on. Um, this uh, Victide Armor also helps with mobility a ton in the water. And basically, I'm just going to kill all of these aquatic enemies while I wait for a Giant Clam to spawn. And I got very lucky there that I didn't get blown up completely by a bunch of dynamite. Oh my gosh. So what are these guys? These guys are clams and prism backs. Okay. Um, maybe I could do some research on those, you know, see if they drop anything. Okay. A clam has spawned. Um, it's over here somewhere. No, not that clam. It's a giant clam. There it is. There's a life crystal there as well. So I dig over to it. Only 2,500 health, so it's not too powerful. Um, this is actually a pretty lucky spot for it to spawn because there's a lot of room here for me to fight. There we go, let it teleport. That 2,000 HP already, very close to being dead. Yeah, this fight is going to be very, very easy. Alright, only 1500 health left to go. Looks like the clam is gonna teleport soon, but I can't really tell because of all the small clams in front of it. Just stop all these tiny mobs because they're the ones that are gonna do the damage. All right, and the clam is dead. Boom. Alright, let's see what I got. Uh, I did see for sure that I got something. I do want to kill these guys first. Okay. I'll also grab this life crystal. So, I got the pendant, the rain style prism shards. That's chill. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep grinding out these clams. I'll let you know if I get anything good. But if not, I guess we'll just move on. Okay, so a lot has just happened. Um, there was a blood moon, and the guy died, 
and was replaced by this merman creature. He sells a bunch of weapons, um, including a summon we weapon, which does 23 summon damage for only 2 gold, which is really good. I have 53 in my inventory. And not only that, but after the blood moon ended, it said something is falling from the sky, and then a mysterious meteor hit my house. And I could pick it up, I thought I'd have to mine it, but uh... Its external shell is insanely durable, you probably need to find someone who may help you break it. It's from the Alchemist NPC mod. Interesting, um... I definitely need to expand my NPC roster. Like, as soon as possible, because if there's this guy that spawned, and he sells weapons, I'm gonna want any NPC I can get that is useful. I mean, if they sell weapons, of course I'm gonna want them. Okay, so I didn't get the weapon that I wanted, but I did get a couple cool things. First of all, as you can see, there's a little shield around me. Well, I got this accessory called the Rover Drive that activates a protective shield that grants 10 defense for 10 seconds. The shield then dissipates and recharges for 20 seconds before being reactivated. It's pretty good for boss fights, for sure. Um, I also got this little dagger called an electric shank, I think. No, not quite, but it's close. Um, I think that's just about it. Oh yeah, I also got the Volt Voltaic, I think that is. I can't tell if that's an eye or not. I think it's an eye. But Voltaic Jelly which has 1% max minions, not 1%, plus 1 max minions, and minion attacks inflict electrified. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it's kind of like a poison effect. It's actually very powerful. It does 8 damage every tick. Tick of damage, that is. That's pretty good. I might actually use that for maybe boss fights. I mean, if I'm a summoner, I'm definitely going to use that, and I definitely want to be a summoner, so... I'm going to be using that. Um, I also wanted to buy a new summon from this guy called the Magical Conch. Buy that. And I got Keen. Plus 3% critical strike chance. I'm pretty sure summons can't even get critical strike chance, so that's not great. One crab. Um, where's my other summon? Don't need that, and I don't need that. There we go, I got three crabs now. I want to see them attack something. Oh, they got stuck behind that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. At least you can teleport them. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using these guys. They, don't just, they just don't seem that good. Um, apparently there also is a good jungle summon that can shoot through blocks. I mean, these guys, these crabs do do a lot of damage, it's just they don't really hit that much. But yeah, we're going to have to see how everything works out with the summons. Um, I want to build the magic storage now because I don't know about you, but I'm tired of this chest mark right here. Okay, so I got the chat message saying an evil presence is watching me, which means the I Cthulhu is going to spawn once again. Maybe we can get a revenge against it, and maybe we can actually take this guy out. Let's see, I want to actually get potions this time because the I Cthulhu is apparently pretty difficult in um, Calamity Revengeance mode. Um, let's see. Honestly, not much I can do besides this. Alright, the music is going quiet. I want to use the, um, yes, the star one. All right, let's go. I'm gonna drink the potions this time. This arena is really tiny, but... But uh, we'll see if we can make do. I don't like how that guy was hovering over me. Are they... Snails are taking up, uh... Minion slots. I don't want that. I took a lot of damage because I was trying to switch out my minions. Oh god. 
about the third stage. Well, I guess it's technically the second stage, but... Oh, jeez. I just gotta run. Whenever he does that attack, I just gotta run. Uh. I tried to jump over at that time. I'm starting to learn the pattern. I can't jump high enough. I have to be in the arena in order to dodge that one. There we go. We might actually win this. Unless there's like a an fifth stage and... No, we are gonna win. Okay, you can dash diagonally. Boom. Yes! Yes, yes, the yeah, feel was defeated. Oh my gosh, that guy was giving me panic attacks there for a second. Alright, that boss was stressful. Especially because he's supposed to be easy. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I want to get that, but it's uh, kind of high in the air. Form Note 1. Legends say that an otherworldly, other, otherworldly amulet can be obtained by defeating a dungeon guardian. Now, is that Skeletron or the Dungeon Guardian? There's something else, but you couldn't read it. Not without parts 2 and 3. Maybe the Jeweler could help you. From the Alchemist NPC mod. Alright, now let's see what this is. Material. While this is in your inventory, you have a low chance not to consume potion. Alchemist, Brewer, and Young Brewer are providing 10% discount. And buff duration is 10% longer. I mean... If it's just from being in my inventory, then yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Um, is there anything else obvious in my inventory? If there is anything else, I'll find it later. Alright, let's open this. Corrupt Seeds, Unholy Arrows. Um, the Guarding Counter Scarf. True me Melee Strikes deal 15% more damage. Against the ability to dash, dashing into attack will cause you to dodge it. After a dodge, you'll be granted a buff to all damage melee speed. And all crit chance for a short time. After a successful dodge, you must wait 15 seconds before you can dodge again. This cooldown will be twice as long if you have Chaos State. All on cooldown, Chaos State will last twice as long. And it's a Revengeance drop. That doesn't seem very good though. Just because um, of the sheer amount of nerfs that it has. Like bad effects that it gives rather. Oh my gosh. He dropped so many things. The binoculars are useless. Eardrop Cleaver. That doesn't seem that good. Alright. I might use the Shield of Cthulhu. Should I use the Shield of Cthulhu? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's get to making the magic storage because, uh... Whew, I don't want to deal with these chests anymore. Okay, so I was exploring the mushroom biome, and I found this actually generated structure right here. Um, it looks really cool. Let me just grab that light crystal. What about this? Oh my gosh, those doors are sick. What is this stuff? Power cell factory. My inventory is full right now, but like... Oh, this... Ooh. I'm gonna place that back here so I can get that later, but it's super cool. That. Yeah, I have no idea what any of this is. I don't even know what mod this is from. Test. From Calamity. Okay. Well, this is super cool. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely gonna come back here later to uh, get all this stuff and see what I can do with it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, so this is just a progress update before I do the outro. Now, I've done a lot since the last clip, since it's been a whole day by now. First of all, I set up the magic storage. Um, the reason I didn't record me figuring that out is because I just thought it was kind of boring, and it certainly wasn't a quick process for me. I also made the house really tall, so I can now... Have many NPCs you can see 
I have a couple modded NPCs as well, which is great. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, this magic sword is great. It has 160 slots in it. I can search for any items or any mods. I can deposit everything in my inventory there, if there were empty slots, of course. Um, so basically, how this works is this is the crafting interface. It has the crafting tables in there, so this is where I craft items. This is the storage. This is where I put all the items, and this is where everything is stored. This is the part of the storage system. It doesn't really do anything. It just needs to be there for the system to work. And these are the actual storage units. Um, basically, these are where the items are actually stored. This is just the interface for where you can see all the items. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but it's really nice. So I have many NPCs as well. First of all, there's this guy. He is a brewer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he sells potions. This is the builder. And this person is the other brewer. So there's just two people that sell potions. I believe this guy is the tinkerer. Then who is this? The jeweler. This is the angler shop. Um, he's different than the actual angler. You can see he sells the items for angler reward points. And basically you get those points from completing angler quests. Um, so I have an angler and an angler shop. They look exactly the same. This guy just sells some vanities. And then this person has a bunch of baits and fishes you can buy. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Calamity video. Bye everyone. Okay, here's the Igadulu. This is um, a lot easier than I remember it being. Of course, I am still getting hit a lot, which is in less than ideal, of course. He's gonna be in second form in not too long, which is when it starts to get more difficult. There we go. Oh shoot. That was really risky going into the um, underground desert right then. I'm not winning this. Nope, 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 nope. Whew, jeez. Yeah, I could do this tough.